like it's it's beast mode time bro this is this is beast bro no nut november is just all, it's all about beast mode beast mode bro like that's this is that's all it's about is going beast mode bro no nut november is about yes completing no nut november yes going 30 days semen retention but also it's about going to war mentally psychologically physically with myself like working out every single day i need to get back to that grind that crazy intense go get it hustler mindset that i had when i didn't get, when i was getting my first wholesale deal i had an insane mindset and it paid off i achieved all my goals now and i and i was and after i achieved all my goals i got complacent but now i'm done being complacent bro i know what i want i know what i want bro i know what i want and it's level two. It's time to go get it, bro. It's time to go get it. And no, not November. This month, November 2022, this is the beginning of that. This is the beginning of that, bro. This is the beginning of, of beast mode. The season of beast mode. Like straight up. The season of beast mode, bro. I was in a season of beast mode once upon a time. And I achieved every single goal that I had. I had set my mind to, period. Now it's time to get it again. Beast mode, bro. Now is beast mode. Beast mode, bro. And no nut November is the beginning of that. We are going to war with ourselves. And we will win this battle, bro. Satan does not have a hold on us. We we put our faith in God and Jesus alone, bro. And and, and we will win this battle. The attacks. Sorry. When I say war. I mean war, bro. Satan is going to attack us. Satan is going to come for us. Satan, bro, these attacks are insane. Like, bro, these the I already know what the 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 attacks on my psychological, attacks on my mental, attacks on my my heart, my confidence in myself, my identity and who I am in Christ, bro. Like these attacks are so intense. And they've never been this intense before because back then, you know, I was just living life, not caring. You know, I was just doing whatever, giving my body whatever it called for, whenever it called for it. Now I'm not doing that. And Satan knows. I know I know that Satan knows now. Satan knows now that I'm a reckon to be like I'm a force to be reckoned with. He knows that I'm serving Jesus now. He knows that I'm fighting a good fight now. And now he's he's bringing in like back up he's bringing in back up he's bringing in these demons these succubuses bro like nah bro nah bro like this is a real war this is a real war and it's just me it's just me you know i got my christian brothers too you know i call them like every now and then you know like a few times a week you know at least once a week you know i call them you know, and I go to my small group at my church, you know, it's always good to have community. I, I have community, but I'm saying at the end of the day, it's about what happens behind closed doors. That's where the real battle goes on. The community is good to like get your mind off of it and to just have, you know, reaffirm things, you know, and, and relate to other people and maybe encourage them as well. But at the end of the day, when all that's over with, you got to go back to the war zone. It's like, it's like when you're in community, when I'm in community, it's like a safe haven. Like I'm in the bunker, like you know, I'm protected, you know, like I'm in, I'm in the shelter. Like I'm protected from bullets flying everywhere, bombs everywhere. I'm protected, I'm underground in the bunker. You know, we good. But when I leave the community and I go back home, that's when I'm in the, the field. That's when I'm in the actual war zone. That's when I gotta have my armor on, like the full armor of God. And I really gotta like, like, bro, it is what it is, bro. Like, real talk. Like, you know. And, you know, I made I made this video, like, this is just my weekly, my monthly checkup, monthly overview. You know, I do this every single month. But I feel like, uh, I feel like I might upload this to YouTube. I don't know, bro. I feel like I might upload this to YouTube, bro. Because, I don't know, I feel like what I'm saying right now is pretty powerful. I feel like other people could hopefully relate, but... This is No Nut November, bro. Um, if I do post this to YouTube, hopefully I'm going to get my third wholesale deal this month. I should be getting it real, 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 real soon. Like, uh, it's about to be under contract. I brought my buyer and my contractor over there. We looked at it. Um, but, yeah, wholesale journey, all that. 
you know, whoop de woo. But this is about no nut November. This is about the internal war with myself, bro. This is about like the battle for my soul. That's what this this is about right here, bro. <sighs> Let's go, bro. Uh, let, let me just go over this too. So in the month of November, today's Saturday. See, every Saturday I fast. I set I set Saturdays apart for the Lord. I really really, really have to do that. I'm slipping. Really, really gotta at least set one day apart for the Lord, bro. You know, I go to church Sunday, I go to church Thursday, uh, I go to church Wednesday, but like alone time, like set apart, like there's something like I have to sacrifice for the Lord. And so Saturday, I fast. Like, it, ain't, it ain't easy, but it's also a discipline I'm building, you know, to put my body in check. Like I, I control you, you don't control me. So every Saturday, I fast. Um, man, look, bro, I just want to show these. That new life you want so bad. I, I, I had these in jail. I had these in jail. I know this, but this is in case I upload this to YouTube. These are, so when I was in jail, when I was in jail, I was looking at years or whatever, um, but I decided to turn my life around in jail. That's where I started my self-improvement journey. And I was like, mom, I don't want you to send me no more money. I don't want you to buy no more food, whatever. They give me food in here. What I want you to do is I want you to buy me books and I want you to send me motivational quotes off the internet. And she sent me a bunch, like buku pictures. Like she sent me a lot of stuff. I was like, send me, send me pictures of cars, like money, send me pictures of like houses, like stuff like that, stuff to motivate me to like really change my mindset while I'm in jail, you know, change my personality in jail. And out of all, it was like 100, 200, 300, a lot of pictures she sent me in jail, but out of all of them, I kept these three. And I've been keeping this, these pictures on my, uh, my monthly whiteboard, like for, uh, for ever since I got out of jail, bro. When I was in jail, I had these, uh, posted up on my bunk and on my wall and I would look at them every day and I just, and I'd be like, that's me. That's me. Like, that's who I want to be. This is me right here. And so it says that new life you want so bad is going to require you to let go of the old one. Dot, 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 completely. And that was that was about me changing, you know, with the reason why I was in jail, all that, that past life, you know, all those friends, the drugs, all that. Like, I had to let go of that. I had to really brainwash myself. Like, I had to let go of that. And then this right here, this was, this one was really big, too. Don't fear failure. Fear being in the exact same place next year as you are today. Straight up, like, like <laughs> these are the most powerful quotes, like, in my life, bro. Straight up, like. Don't feel, I was like, you know what? It said, don't feel failure. Like, I'm not, I'm not straight. I'm not afraid to fail. But I could tell you what, next year, I'm going to be a different person. You know, I, I didn't care if I was in jail, out of jail, whatever. I was going to be a different person. All right. And then this one, really, really powerful stuff. A fresh start is in a new place. It's a mindset. And I, that just like, again, it's about like, it was about me being in jail. Like a fresh start is in a new place. It's a mindset. Like it, I didn't care if I was in jail, out of jail, whatever. I had a fresh start because I'm a new person. And, you know, and that goes back to the salvation of Christ, like the salvation of my soul through Christ. You know, the Bible says that we are a, a new creation. Do not be conformed by the world, but be renewed uh in your mind you know like a new creation a new person like a new mindset like i don't, I don't know i don't know bro but look that's what november is all about bro <laughs> it's about going to war no not november bro straight up we in this